The Deputy PM failed to offer a robust guarantee of the top advisor's future when questioned by Laura Kuntzberg. Angela Rayner cast further doubt on Sue Gray's political future this morning, as she failed to inspire confidence that the Chief of Staff will remain in her job for much longer. Amid ongoing briefings against Sir Keir Starmer's right-hand woman following revelations about her eye-watering salary, Ms Rayner was asked by Laura Kuntzberg whether Sue Gray will still be in her job by Christmas. The Deputy Prime Minister responded, I think so. Labour advisers reacted furiously this week when it was revealed by the BBC that Ms Gray has not only received a huge pay rise, but is now out earning the Prime Minister. She has accepted a £170,000 salary, around £3,000 more than Sir Keir Starmer and £30,000 more than her Conservative predecessor. The news sparked anger among other Labour advisers, many of whom took pay cuts when they entered government, compared to both their previous Labour Party salaries and the salaries of their Tory advisor predecessors. A Labour source said, The story makes me want to pack up and go home. The rest of us spads have been in the trenches fighting for four years, then she turned up. She's fighting with friends she's not made yet. Sue was a senior civil servant. She would know how much the PM makes, so to take a salary of that amount shows an extraordinary lack of political nous. Why make enemies of the people who are effectively the glue that allows the leaders in government to work in the best way they can do?